to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 4 and specifically verse 3, where there was a disagreement between two sisters in, in Christ who had labored so diligently uh, with the Apostle Paul. What the issue was, we don't know. It is not mentioned. But uh, these two sisters were at odds with each other. And the Apostle Paul is uh, asking a very faithful uh, believer, worker, to help them uh, to, uh, to come together again. And he is simply referred to as loyal yoke fellow. And uh, that simply means uh, somebody who pulls and works cooperatively with others, someone who was highly respected and esteemed. Then we also saw that another name is mentioned in Philippians 4 and verse 3, Clement. And again, uh, what Clement did, we don't know, but uh, he was a very valued team member for the Apostle Paul. And then as we keep looking at this verse, Philippians 4.3, we uh, come across uh, another group that Paul simply refers to as the rest of my fellow workers. So in this one verse, we have two sisters in Christ who labored with the Apostle Paul. Then we have the true yoke fellow, then we have Clement, and then we have this group called My Fellow Workers. Paul was deeply appreciative of those who labored together with him. And uh, today I want to just uh, do a little examination of this group called Fellow Workers. They are unnamed, and what they did is not mentioned. But uh, I have uh, six characteristics that I would like to share about the fellow workers. And by the way, you and I can be part of that team, fellow workers. In your local church, you can come together with fellow believers and be part of this fellow workers team advancing the cause of Christ. I have uh, six words that begin with the letter S, and uh, these are the qualifications, if you like, uh, to be a fellow worker. Number one, they worked submissively. They worked submissively, meaning they were very humble. They respected authority, godly authority, and they submitted to godly authority. And that's very, very important in ministry. We recognize uh, godly authority and we submit to godly authority as unto the Lord. We, uh, uh, are, we are not lone rangers. We have to be held accountable. And that's the reason why the Lord has spiritual authorities over us. So to belong to this group, you and I need to be submissive to God, yes. We need to be submit, submissive to God's word, yes. We need to be submissive to God's will, yes. But we also need to be submissive to godly leaders. They were submissive. The second thing that I want to highlight about uh, fellow workers, the second is, they worked steadfastly. They worked steadfastly, meaning that they were faithful, they were loyal, they refused to be distracted. And very often, uh, that's a challenge we all face, isn't it? Distracted by lesser causes. We must always have before our mind's eye the greater cause, the cause of Christ. And uh, we must uh, steadfastly work to the accomplishing of uh, the goals that are inherent in the cause of Christ. And sometimes even good things can uh, detract us and derail us 
and we can go on rabbit trails and fail to fulfill the purpose of God for our life. So, are you a fellow worker? If so, do you submit to godly authority? And are you steadfast in your mission? God bless you. Have a good day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.